All right, we are back with the Mars Colony in Rimworld. First thing, got a notification about a broken down battery. I'll go to the location. It's the battery that we fixed up in the last episode. So we've got rid of the notification. Next thing, we are low on steel. So we need to find some more steel or create it. I'm going to quickly have a look and see if there's any steel that I can actually unlock that might have uh, fallen on the planet. I'll zoom in. I'm looking at for anything that's got a red cross on it. That would be steel. I'll unlock those in a little bit. I want steel first. I want that to be the priority. Okay, nothing there. I'm just doing a grid search just to make sure we've picked it all up. There's a couple of uh, things there, but not what we're looking for. There we are. Steel. There's 51 there. Let's see if there's any others. I don't think there's anything down here. When you've got it locked, there's no way the astronauts will pick it up. Okay, we've got a couple of things here, ship chunks. Um, might unlock those. We've got marble blocks and steel slag. Now those I can put through the smelter, so that's going to be one of the things that's going to come up next. We've also got the Pathfinder and Curiosity. I can dismantle those. Okay. Do those now. Okay, so first thing, deconstruct, and also with the pathfinder. Okay. Before I do that, let me check the oxygen supply. So we got one, two, we got four of them. Let me just uh, unpause the game. That's um, charging up. We've got a couple of astronauts up. We've got Slug and Red. So let's um, get these two working. And Slug. Nice EVA and the work they'll be doing is hauling already. That's it. And what I might do is deconstruct these um, after they've gone all the way up the top. Where are you going? Consuming meals. Let's have a look at their needs. Not really hungry. Uh, 
plug is, so I'll let them have their meal. Is there any steel that I can get from here? Don't think so. I've got plenty of these, but I can't break them down. Now what are you guys? Whoa, what the? What are you doing outside? Okay, that's not good. Get inside. Oh, she's going to be in all sorts of trouble. Okay. Can I get her to rest up there? Why did she go outside? I don't know if it's a issue with the with the mod itself. The coffee should be restricted to area one, and because it was unrestricted, she went outside. Okay, coffee. Let's um. Make sure that she's um, staying there. If I hadn't actually picked that up, she would have... Um... What's that? What's that noise? Massive dust storm. Dust storm can develop in a matter of hours and can envelop the entire planet within a few days. After developing it can take weeks for a dust storm to completely expand itself. Okay, let's pause. I want to see where this thing is. Is it anywhere or is it all over the place? Sounds like it's everywhere. Okay, so we've got these guys picking up the um, remnants of the curiosity. Here's the other one. Curiosity and Pathfinder. Let's see what they get out of those. Wait, what's this? Unhappy nudity. Oh, must be having a shell. Okay, now, what have we got out of those? There's some steel there. He's hauling that back. What have we got there? Gold. Interesting. Um, I want you to do that. I want you to get the steel. Whoa. Yep, got a storm going through. Let's just have a look at coffee. Yeah, she was lucky. Yeah, she could have um, had all sorts of problems if she didn't get back inside straight away. So what I want is when they get back. I want to start uh, working on a meal source and what we need. Where are you going? Oh, they're getting up, getting the other steel. Yep, that's good. As soon as we've got that back. What did you just drop off? You didn't bring back steel. What happened? Why are you holding aluminium? Um, what is going on? 
RTG unit there. There's still there. The priority for slug is to get that steel. Okay, so we've got 32. Minor brake risk. Who's who's having a problem? Slug. Poor mood. Uh, slug. What's what's his problem? Filthy. Okay, we need to get beds. We need to get shared bedroom, um, individual bedrooms, ugly environment. It's uh, limiting. I wish I had some kind of artificial body part. Feeling bad. Eight at a table. Being in the dark for a while. Don't like it. Too sure what's happening there. Okay. So what we've got. We've got water somewhere. Um, there are layers we're not looking at. Don't see any water on Mars. What's that? Okay, this is... Yeah, this is the beauty, but it's not showing water. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Okay. What I need environment control. I need an irrigation pump which needs 75 steel. I've got 83. And what I'm going to do is to put that down put it down there okay and I'll get Red to work on that That's one big storm going through. Now what's happening with the rest of these? Um, the rest of them look good. So we'll get everyone else into suits. Including Marina. and everyone can be working get some hauling done and because everyone's going to be hauling I'm going to open up a couple of things that need to be picked up I think it was up here somewhere where was it? A couple of things that I needed here. Yeah. Pick all of those up. Might as well get everything inside. I'm not going to worry about the RTG units, whatever they are. Not too sure if I'm going to need those.
I'll probably break them down to steel or something. Okay, let's um, deconstruct these. See what we get from them. And all of those. That should be it. Okay. Everyone who exits. So with the irrigation pump, which we're going to be using for setting up a food area. We need five components. Once we've got the irrigation area set up, then we'll put it indoors, put down soil. and then start growing some uh, food. Okay, so that needs to be connected to, to power. Okay, so if we go to power up there, go to our power conduits, probably the best way to do it. How much um, deal have got? 23. Hmm. Not connected to anything. It's probably the quickest. Okay. Now we've actually got the area that we need to enclose. If I go to the wall, I want to have inflatable. We'll do from here to there to there to there. Um, I'll actually leave a spot there. Okay. That's what we're doing. Good enough. Get into. Actually, you you do the hauling. You go all the way up here. I want. I want someone who's. Better at the um, construction to be working on the um, on the walls. So that would probably be get Shaper to do it. What is Shaper doing? Deconstructing ship chunk. So I'll wait till she's finished that. See what you get out of those. Hopefully we're going to get a lot of steel. Okay, so coffee, got inflatables, got 75 steel, that's perfect. And what is that? Aluminium. So we can get more, what have we got? Rolling inflatables. Another 75, we might get more than 75 in that one. Shaper, I need you to work on this. There we go. Who's the second? 
best construction, probably marina. Yeah, so let's get marina. Get you to do this as well. We'll get two of them working. Whoa! Okay, coffee's working on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and get that uh, finished this episode. Okay, everyone's working on the wall. That's fine. We have a look at the top here. Inflatables got 347. That's good. We want to expand our base for well, when the um, additional ships turn up. They'll bring in more colonists. Eventually, I want to have all of the production happening on Mars, so all we want are passenger ships to come from Earth. I'll get someone to do, maybe coffee. I'll get you to do the power. Use the minor break. Red. What's happening with red? Ugly environment, grimy. Okay, red, you doing what? Might get you to take a shower. And I'll restrict you to area one. Make sure that restriction works. Yep. Okay, so red, you take your suit off. Where are you going? restricted you. Um, see, there's a problem because I definitely had it restricted to area one. It's quite possible that when you get them to take the suits off it's it's um, changing the restricted area. So that's something you just got to watch. I'm just going to draft, undraft and get Reg to take a shower. Got to make sure that she doesn't get outside without a suit on. As soon as she's finished there, what is she doing now? Assuming a meal. I'm going to get her to put the suit back on. Go back to restrictions. 
unrestricted. We shall go back outside. As soon as she's left. Right, paused everything. What I need is to deconstruct that. Go back to structures. Inflatable. I we'll need to put in a tube here. And an airlock. Need to put one in there and one in there. Okay, see how that works. Perfect. Now who was working on that? No one. Is that finished? Why is there no power going to this? Now there. Okay, I think I took the power away there. I think I removed the power there. Yep, so I need someone to work on that. So let's get Slug to do that. I'll find it. And we'll get uh, power set up for this the irrigation pump. What's going to happen is all the oxygen is going to disappear from inside the module. You can see bottom, bottom left, we've got um, we've got oxygen there, but in these rooms here, no oxygen at all, because we've got an airlock door there. I've just got to make sure no one goes into there until we've... well, where are you going? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why aren't you doing that? This is going to let all the oxygen out. Stay there. I'll get you to work on something outside. Um, the Mel wants to do some cleaning. Priority three. No, don't get that way. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna let her do it. Okay, let's see if it lost any oxygen. We lost a little bit of oxygen, it's down to... fifteen twenty-two. Yeah, we're losing oxygen. Why are we still losing oxygen?
Okay, just got to keep an eye on that. I need someone to work on that. What are you doing? Do that. Shaper, you work on that one. Doing. Okay, so it's now airtight. Options. So with the cursor in that position there, you can see oxygen is 15.10, 15.8, 10. It is going up. Oxygen here is uh, eight percent and rising. Wait, 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 wait. Have you? Yeah, we got the steel airlock there. Um, let's have that hauled away. And that hauled away. That might be interfering with the door. Might get you to work on this, already. And the other thing we need is some lights. Miscellaneous, floors, joy, where is it? One of these has got lights. There we are. We've got a sun lamp. Needs 25 steel, we've got 134. I'm going to put it right. Um, well done. Put that there. Mel's coming back. What are you doing? Okay, so Mel is working on the sun lamp. What I'm going to do is to set up a, another airlock here so that it's, everyone doesn't just go through that one airlock there. We will have a direct airlock going through here. I'll do that tomorrow though. Okay, got power. Perfect. I need all of these removed as well. Not too sure what these are. So what's our steel 109? That's fine. What I might do is to put a temporary seal on this section here. Put an inflatable wall here. What are you guys doing? 
I'm going to get you to work on, on that. Once that's done, we'll work on the exterior wall. And I'll start that now. Inflatable wall. Like so. And a airlock. Yeah, Mel's working on that. Yeah, well, Mel's working on those, that's fine. Okay. Um... Marina's working on putting up the temporary wall. I just need to make sure, before I open this up, that we've actually got the oxygen supply secured for this entire area. Okay, so we've got that blocked. Now I can deconstruct that and then put in Another airlock here. Perfect. That will give us two entryways into the base. One over there and one over here. Once that is being set up, I'll then open that up and then make sure that I I don't need to add any more oxygen into the base. Might be enough. Okay, so Mel's deconstructing the wall. So here we've got oxygen of 0 0.2. Okay. Is someone going to work on that? Okay, slug is working on airlock. Perfect. Did you finish? Yes, you did. I think it you to prioritize holding that. There we go. Okay, copy. I need you to deconstruct that. We need to get oxygen and back into here. get you to get rid of the inflatable okay so let's just see if you look at the left hand side the oxygen levels at 0 0.26 yeah it's at 17 0 0.26 so what we're gonna need to do let's put everything on hold going to need to set up a got some moxie whoa what's happening here whoa got a problem oh oh 
Look at all of this. We got sand. We got sand on on all of the house cells. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. So we've run out of power. Okay. Um, what's our suits like? Fifty-five percent oxygen. Eighty-three. 64, 73, 71, okay, um, we need everyone on cleaning, no one on construction, I did not notice that. We need to have all of this cleaned up. What are you doing? We need to do work on that. No one should be hauling. Let's um, reset everyone's rules. Those should be all heading towards cleaning those power cells. What time is it? It's nine o'clock at night. We're going to need someone constantly cleaning. Okay. That's not good. Didn't even notice that. And because of those were all covered with sand, we were losing power, so the batteries have drained. Now what have we got inside the ship? We've got nothing in the ship at all. Not good. Not good. So we've lost complete power to the base. So before I finish this episode, we're going to clean up everything on this uh, on these power cells. So whenever you get a massive dust storm coming through, make sure you've got someone who's going to be cleaning up these power cells and have it as um, a priority. So their job is to clean up the power cells as they get covered in dust. Because... Uh, Dust is the biggest problem on Mars. If that gets into your equipment, I mean, I'd hate to think what the rest of these look like. That was a shock. <laughs> So it's midnight, and where are you guys going? I might get you to go into the lander. If you're not working on cleaning, you'll be inside the lander. Who's actually got more oxygen than everyone else? 50%, 59, 66 is Mel. I think, yeah, Mel and coffee. 
the last three. Okay, I'm gonna get um, you and Talanda. Reds is already in there. You and Talanda and Mel Coffee Marina. Okay, those three are going to prioritize on cleaning. I'll get you to okay. I think um, it's all set up. Priority by Marina. Yeah. So that's one of the challenges of space is dealing with the storms like this. We gotta keep keep these clean. They even hear it saying panels are covered in sand. I'll just put everything on pause. Copy should not be doing anything but cleaning. If you look here at uh, the blue section, you can see the actual dust moving across. It's uh, pretty good graphics. You can imagine all of that getting onto the solar panels and that's exactly why the base ran out of power. Now my problem is we're going to need to get all of these um, working all day tomorrow to try and charge up the batteries. And if this dust storm keeps on blocking these during the day, we're going to run out of power. So we're going to have to live in the in the module. And what I'm concerned about is how much power we've got in the EVA stations. Absolutely nothing, I don't think. It's trying to connect, but uh, yeah, there's nothing in the batteries. But anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here. Got a minor problem. Not much we can do about that. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, we'll be back to sort out this crisis tomorrow. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as it helps support the channel. Catch you later. See you then. Bye-bye.